Hi, welcome back. I'm sorry about the delay in getting this up. I've uh, just had to do a bit of practicing. Anyway, we're going to solder on uh, a new dock. I'd like to thank Mr. Tomlinson for his patience while I uh, ordered in the dock connectors. There's one there. And also while I um, worked out a technique to effectively solder this on. One that doesn't involve a heat gun because a lot of places are using it, you have to warm up the whole of the lower end of that board. Um, it can be risky because obviously other solder components are going to come loose. Right, the first thing we're going to do is um, tin um, this up. So I'm washing it down with some isopropyl in order to um, get rid of any grease. Um, because otherwise you're not going to get the solder to adhere to it. So watch you don't pull any of the pins out of place. Right, now I'm applying uh, solder flux here. Put plenty of it on. Don't be afraid to use it. Just plenty of slight flux. Now you can use a gel flux if you want, which is actually better, but unfortunately I don't have any of that. Um, I need to get some in. Okay, I've applied some solder to the, um, uh, the tip. All I can do is just rub it across um, the, the pins. Now don't worry about bridging, that's going to happen. You will get bridging. Um, just get the solder on there, clean up the tip, and then apply some more solder flux, and then basically draw um, the, the bridges off with a clean tip. So that's how it's done. I've got a nice clean tip here now. I'm working at 380 degrees, and look at the action I've got. I'm, pulling away um, and that will clear any bridging you've actually got there. Okay, so it's important you have a clean tip. Now I'm using quite a wide tip here uh, to cover a large area. So I've sort of flipped it over, more solder flux, a bit of solder on the uh, solder iron, and basically again, uh, a wiping action. Any bridging you actually get there, just sweep it through. Okay. Clean the tip, sweep it through. Okay, that's more or less it. Uh, clean tip. If I see any bridging, I just get rid of it. We don't want any heavy buildups of um, solder here. Okay, that, that bit's done. Let's get it on the board. Uh, it clips into place, very easy. I'm using a crocodile clip to hold it in place because I've still got the whole of this connected up to the lower end and also the case of the uh, iPod as well. Um, Okay, now we're using quite a bit of heat here because we're, we're, we're actually soldering metal, um, you know, steel. Uh, so therefore you need that heat there to, to do that. Um, you know, obviously don't go over the top. You don't want to uh, damage the board. Sorry you can't see this bit, but it's uh, the same as the other one I've done there. Only you're working closer to a metal frame. And here's the end result, uh, as you can see. Um, both soldered in, uh, just tilt it over, there we are. Okay, I'm going to stick this back in the case um, in, in a while, but I'll just show you the, um, the tip. Um, I've changed the tip to a narrow tip. Um, and what I'm going to do is put plenty of solder flux on here. Uh, I've tinned up the tip, it's nice and clean. As you can see, I shake a lot. Um, I can't help that, I've always had it. Um, I have a glass of sherry, and apparently there's something in sherry that stops you shaking. Unfortunately, I didn't have one an hour before this video, so therefore, mind you, I'm dab and it's um, um, whisking eggs. No effort whatsoever. Okay, I've applied flux here, uh, 380 degrees, and I'm just going to go across these boards, uh, these pins, sorry, bit by bit, all the way across. You can see the smoke coming off there where the... Uh, solder flux is melted. I did go across these another time, but you know, uh, after this. Yes, it works. It's gone back in. Everything's happy. Everything's working. Um, I'm going to search out of solder on a battery now. Anyway, take care.